everyone, my name is Mark Plant and welcome to Black Hawk. Hey everyone, like I said, my name is Mark Plant and this is Black Hut. Thank you for coming in. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. Uh, you'll be able to check out all the videos and unboxings and cutting the cord videos that, that I have throughout my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. Please hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button. You get a notification anytime I put up a new video. Uh, if you're using a mobile device, just make sure that notifications are allowed. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think or let me know of any other type video that you would like me to do. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go with cutting the cord. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, my family has cut the cord. We've been, got to, spend, got to be almost five months now we've cut the cord. Do not miss it at all. Kind of. Here's a little piece that, that we've missed. Uh, when we cut the cord, one of the uh, the perks that we got was switching over to Verizon Fios, their gigabit internet, was we had a free trial of YouTube TV. So we took that and we've been watching YouTube TV since. YouTube TV does have a good platform. Uh, we'll be doing a, a video on it again real shortly. Uh, but one of the problems that I had personally with it is I live in New England and I am a Red Sox fan and a Boston Bruins fan. And one of the reasons why I wanted to go with YouTube was they carried Nessun, which is the New England Sports Network. They carry both the Bruins games and the Red Sox games on there. And it would have been perfect for me. Two days after I signed up for YouTube... Uh, YouTube TV dropped Nessun. So I've been looking for a way to be able to watch Nessun legally. Uh, legally is the big pot with cutting the cord. We'll do go check out our video on what's legal and what's not legal when watching uh, streaming video through a box like Roku or or um, the what do you call it the uh, Fire Stick. So, I've, like I said, I've been searching for a way, and there is only one service out there that does have New England Sports Network on it, and that is FUBU TV. So, they offered a free trial of it. I've been trying it for the past week, watching the Red Sox, and there's some good points and some bad points. So, we'll go over FUBU TV, and maybe, you know... You'll like that. You won't like it. I know in other regions throughout the country, it carries, say, like the Yankees games or the Dodgers games. Uh, so there, the FUBU TV is basically sports-centric. Uh, so they, they have tons of channels for sports. So what do you say? Let's go over to the computer, and I'll give you a good... Description and example of FUBU TV. Okay, so we're over here on the computer right now. Uh, just to remind you, this is our website. Uh, go check it out. It's actually, the URL for the website is blackhutdesign.com. Uh, any videos that we put up on the channel or other tech information that we come across is on this channel. So go ahead and check it out. Uh, Send us an email, let us know what you think, what you'd like us to do on the website. Uh, so let's go over here, let's check out FUBU TV. Now FUBU TV originally started out as soccer. <laughs> it was all soccer. Uh, it's been several years, they've been around, they, they're incredible how their technology has improved so much. Uh, they have, uh, the content is, it's equal if not better than youtube tv so what we're going to do is this, this is the main screen that you come in and like i said they do offer a free seven day trial uh one of the things that i like with them is they do send you an email the day before the trial expires if you do not respond to the email or go on to fubu and cancel you will be charged uh so it, it, none of the other services do that they go right if there's ever a trial, they don't let you know when the trial ends. They go right to charging you. 
So let's check out FUBU's website here, see what they have. Uh, they list, you actually have up to 222 channels available to you. Uh, these channels right here are my local, um, my ABC, my CBS, Fox, and NBC channels. So uh, it just, like I said, the lineup that is available is, it's just incredible. Nesson, which is right here, this is what's drawing me into the service. Uh, it's, yeah, they, they are the only only streaming service that has Nesson. So, uh, what's it cost? Well, right now, YouTube TV is $64.99 a month. And there's rumblings around that they're going to go up to about $75 a month. So, looking over here on the plans that, that, that FUBU has, your starter plan is it's 115 channels. Uh, they do carry 4K broadcasts. There's a cloud DVR with 250 hours of space, and you can view it on three different screens at the same time. Uh, so it's very similar to uh, YouTube TV for the price. Uh, they do offer other packages, as YouTube does also. Uh, if you go up to the Elite, it adds another, what is that, uh, 35, 40 channels. Uh, you have Fubu Extra, which is 46 entertainment channels. I believe that's like HBO and, and those sort of things. Uh, you go up to a thousand hours of DVR space and you can have unlimited screens and 10 in your house. So it's, like I said, it's about $15 more a month, but does offer a lot. I went with the starter package to try it out. If you do do the trial, it will be the starter package. So let's take, let's take a look at the difference in the plans. Okay, this is your starter package. This is 115 channels, like I said, 130 events in 4K. It does off of my local channels. Uh, Nesson has two channels. We have Fox Sports, NBC Sports Network, NFL. Like I said, FUBU is basically if you're a sports junkie. But one of the things that I like with it that it's added, actually I should say my wife likes, is they do carry all three Hallmark channels, Lifetime, Lifetime Movies, uh, the Sundance TV, and they do have Fox, FX, and FXX. The one thing that YouTube has that FUBU doesn't have is the TBS channel, the Turner Broadcasting channels. So if you, look, if you need TBS or uh, TNT, which carries quite a few NBA games, FUBU TV does not carry that. Uh, so you may be better off with YouTube TV if NBA is what you're looking for. But if you're for NFL, NHL, or Major League Baseball, FUBU carries all of, the, all of those channels. So, uh, like I said, for the basic, the starter package, this is, this is really good. So what we'll do, let's go over to Elite here. This goes from $64.99 a month, and this jumps up to $79.99 79 a month. It's 161 channels. They have 130-plus events in 4K. Uh, it has 46 entertainment channels and has 1,000 hours of cloud DVR space. Also, you can stream unlimited screens, 10 streams at home. So basically the same channels here. As in with the basic or the starter package. Uh, again, TBS channels are not carried, so TNT, NBA would not be on this package either. Uh, additional channels in FUBU Extra are right down here. They're the extra ESPN channels, Discovery Family, uh, general uh, channels that you would have on... If you had cable, basically, uh, they for sports they do have the NBA TV. Uh, I'm not sure whether they carry the games on there, such as that TNT does. They also have the NHL Network and the MLB Network on the Fubu Extra. Okay, they do offer add-ons or Latino, so for Spanish-speaking channels. 
For an additional $33 a month, these would be the channels that you would get. These are Spanish-speaking channels. They do also offer add-ons, uh, additional channels for an additional price. So you can actually boost up your cloud DVR for an additional $16.99 a month to 1,000 hours. Same thing with unlimited screens. Uh, if you were going to do this, you might as well just go up to the Elite plan. Uh, I don't know why you just do individual ones here. I mean, because you look, $10.99 a month, it's almost the same price as the Elite. But anyway, the premium add-ons, they have the movie channels, Showtime, Stars, Epics, and AMC Premiere. Uh, they run various prices. You can also add additional channels on uh, for Sports Plus. This is with the NFL Red Zone. It's ten ninety nine a month, an additional eleven dollars a month, and it will carry all of these sports channels. Uh, for myself, I think the only ones that I may watch are Strike Zone, MLB, NHL, and the NFL Red Zone. So for my family, it's probably not worth it. They also have FUBU Extra, which carries these for an additional $7.99 a month. Whereas if you go back and look with the Elite plan, these FUBU Extra channels come with the Elite plan. So you may be better off just going with the Elite plan. Uh, they have international sports. If you look at these, uh, basically going to be soccer channels from what I could tell. Uh, they have the Adventure Plus, which is outdoor channels for fishing and hunting and such. And you're also able to get the full movie package, which is all of the Epics channels, stars, and Showtime channels. Okay, you also, they have the Latin Plus, which this is a little bit cheaper than the other one, but it's Spanish-speaking channels. Uh, you have an Italian channel that you can add for $9 a month. Uh, TV5 Monday is French language. You have Portuguese channels. You have... I'm assuming these are Spanish channels for $5 a month that you can add on. And also for more Spanish channels, you can add this on. This is $25 a month. So there is quite a bit of entertainment that is offered. Uh, like I said, for my family... Where would the starter package? I mean, basically, the only reason I'm getting this is for the local channels and for Nesson. So what I'm going to do right here is let's go over and I am going to sign in. Okay, we'll block this out. You guys won't see this. Okay, so let's go in. Uh, setting up a profile for me so that I can have a profile for both of my daughters and my wife. So it will only record... Their shows, they'll be able to see them. They won't clog up mine. But for right now, this is the main profile. Okay, and as of right now, these are the shows that are currently on. You can see with live chat, live TV. It's a nice interface. It's clean. Shows you exactly what it is. Uh, what you can do up here on the main menu here is you can just see what sports are on right now. Okay, and this is what's live right now. Actually, no, I lied. <laughs> this is actually the sports that are on today. So we can go through here and check and see if there's anything that, you know, that I would want to watch. So if we go over here to shows, the next thing on the menu, these are all the TV shows that you're able to watch. Uh, they're all, everything that's on live right now or that are on the channels right now. So you can go in, check out one of the shows. You can actually look at the episodes and watch the individual episodes. So it's kind of like an on-demand service. We go back to shows. Same thing. Let's see. Over here with Family Guy. Go in. You can watch. And go back on all of... Uh, this goes back to season two. And it has various episodes. It doesn't have the entire seasons. Okay, so we go over here. And FUBU TV also offers movies for like an on-demand service. We'll click in here. And 
you know, it's basic on-demand movies. Uh, popular ones, you got Jurassic Park, uh, Talladega, Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Uh, you have, again, with FUBU being a sports-centric service, they have a whole section that's just sports movies. Okay, that you can go through. Uh, you have, These are movies that are going to be on today. They're on, like, this Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze is going to be on AMC at 2.30. And what you can do is you can click here and you can set to record them so that you can check out the DVR later on if you're not going to be around to watch them live. Okay, so these are all the things that are going to be on today. All the movies that will be on today. These are the on-demand movies. These are on other services. So this here, the 2018 World Series champion Red Sox, it's actually on Crackle. Same thing with, actually all of these look like, okay, this is on FUBU Movie Network. Okay, Let's see, that's FUBU Sports. So what they're doing is they're putting all of the movies here in one section so that you can go through to find them. And you'll see, like, Ace Ventura, that's American Movie Classics. So it's a quick quick way to find the movie that you're looking for. They break it down by the genres here also. Okay, so that's the, uh, basically we'll call it the on-demand movie section. Uh, one thing I like with this also is it does have a guide, just like cable TV does. So you can actually go through this and see what's on broadcast right now. Uh, so we got some basketball going on right now. Uh, Boston Red Sox game is on, I think I just started, yeah, it started just a few minutes ago. Uh, Boston Bruins are on also. Huh, I didn't think they were on until tonight. Well, anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm recording these, uh, so that I can watch them later. But like I said, these are all the channels that I have right now with the starter package. Okay, you have all the Disney channels, uh, American Movie Classics, uh, FUBU doesn't carry Turner Movie Classics, because they do not carry any of the Turner channels. Okay, so like I said, there's quite quite a selection of entertainment that's being broadcast. Uh, so then we'll go back up here to the top, Oop, actually it's still there, and let's check out the recordings that I have already. Today, like I said, right now it's recording the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Baltimore Orioles are at Fenway Park. We have Law and Order, Station 19. These are all shows that I have recorded. Okay. And I'll show you what the, the playback of the DVR is like. So we'll click on that. Okay, it does show the program. We'll click on play. And there we go. It is the family guy. So let me do this. Let me turn off the volume on that because I don't want to get a copyright violation. And with the the guide, I found with watching the DVR on different streaming, uh, I'm trying to think of the streaming devices. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. My upstairs, I, I have a Roku box, my TV in my office, I have a... Um, Chromecast with Google TV and then on my computer they're all different everything's different on how it performs my computer it works pretty well to to skip around like we could click we can click play here can skip forward sec 15 seconds into the the video you can grab here and we can go into the middle middle of the video no problems uh, we can actually skip to the end. We can pause. There are no problems at all on the computer. The same thing with the Chromecast with Google TV on my Office TV. It works beautiful, fast forwarding, rewinding. My Roku box upstairs, that's another story. I am having nothing but problems with fast forwarding, rewinding. Uh, it, it locks up. Uh, you're not able to, you'll have to go back to the beginning and fast forward to the point you are and hopefully it doesn't lock up on you again. 
So there's a lot of problems with the app that's on the Roku box. Hopefully that gets fixed. Let's get out of here. Let's close the player. Okay, we're back here. And also on the DVR, you can break it down into the genres. So it can go to my sports, any movies that I've re recorded, which I haven't done so far. And again, go back to all. So that, like I said, this is everything that I've recorded so far. I've had Vuvu for about a week now. So, so far, I, I like it. It's very comparable to YouTube. I think there's more entertainment choices that I watch. I've found with YouTube TV lately, it's been a majority of it is news channels like Fox News, CNN, and those sort of things. And my family doesn't watch those things. Uh, they have a ton of children's channels like Nickelodeon and Disney channels. Again, my family doesn't watch those. So the only thing basically YouTube TV was good for me was my local channels. And what I also liked was it had Cartoon Network, which is a Turner channel. I was able to watch, I like to watch, I watch Family Guy before I go to bed. Uh, not able to do that here, but I can actually go into the DVR. I didn't realize that I could do that. Uh, so that will actually help me, you know. So like I said, for price comparison and quality comparison, I mean, they're very similar. Uh, it all depends on, on what you're looking for. Uh, check them out. Check them both out before you do anything. All right. So that's my review of FUBU. Uh, show you some of the options, some of the functions that it has. Very comparable with YouTube TV. And it all depends on what you want to watch. As for myself, I, we're very sports-centric here. So the, the sports channels are very important to us. Uh, it'll all depend also on pricing also one thing to keep in mind that with fubu there is an additional five dollar charge that they do not tell you until the absolute checkout of when you're signing up for it uh the five dollars is to cover the sports channels so if you have a cable tv everyone that has cable tv pays a five dollar charge for local sports networks that is also on fubu so the charge is actually not $64.99, it's actually $69.99. So keep that in mind if you are interested in FUBU. Uh, other than that, I like the service. The service works well. The picture is very good. The sound is good. The app on the Roku Ultra is not good. So they, they need to update that one. The app, using it on the computer, watching it on the computer or watching it with my uh, the Chromecast with Google TV works beautiful. Uh, so it, I think it's just the app with the streaming box that you have. Uh, they, they vary. So I haven't seen it on a Fire Stick, so I don't know how it works on a Fire Stick. So it might work good there. But anyway, like I said, that's FUBU TV. Uh, so thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said, if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps me to produce these videos, uh, to purchase products to review. Uh, it, it just helps me out to keep this channel going. Uh, if you're already subscribed, I do appreciate you guys. But like I said, please hit that bell icon right on the subscribe button. You get a notification anytime I put up a new video. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you have FUBU? Uh, let me know how you like the service. Uh, and leave me a note. Let me know of anything that you would like me to review. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Again, my name is Mark Plant, and this is Black Hut.